Okay, so we're moving on to Hafsa Wahid, uh, all the way over in Lahore, Pakistan. Yes, I'm here. Ah. Okay. Go ahead if you want to share your screen. Yes, yes. I'm going to show the screen. So can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, okay. So uh, when I register, my name is Hafsa Wahid and uh, I have been working as a senior lecturer at the University of Management and Technology and Area University. So when I register for this college uh, on the lighter applications, uh, actually my field is uh, basically laser induced plasma and I just review few papers and uh, I uh, review those papers and afterwards I just design a layout uh, for the lighter applications in different areas uh, and in different uh, disciplines where I plan to collaborate with the different departments of my university. And in future, I plan to design the lighter technology uh, as well as uh, uh, which is the field uh, with, which, uh, in which the electrical engineering department will be involved. And as well as uh, I will involve the computer science and science department for this purpose in order to make the model uh, and design some application in order to model and simulate the 3D images uh, by using the LIDAR technology. So LIDAR is uh, the acronym for the light detection and ranging and due to its uh, optical frequencies and high frequency and shorter wavelength, it can be used uh, in diverse applications. For example, in the atmosphere, agriculture, archeology, span and uh, coastline mapping. So I basically uh, use this, uh, I design uh, this type of project where I will use the airborne lighter, which will be uh, mounted on the drone. Uh, actually, some of my electrical engineering students designed in the drone. And in future, I would like to uh, mount some drone, uh, mount some uh, lighter on that drone where they will be able to uh, cap uh, capture the images uh, of uh, in different areas so that uh, uh, after getting the 3D images, the computer science student will develop some application and we will get some 3D images. So I, uh, my talk is about the, uh, in the field of uh, atmosphere, in the field of uh, oceanography and microtopography uh, and in the field of uh, archaeology. So lighter application and uh, dial technique, it is a well-established uh, laser technique, and it is used uh, to, for the remote sensing of the atmosphere. It is implemented to probe almost any level of the atmosphere. So why I'm uh, talking about uh, this application for the atmosphere, the reason is that uh, Lahore, which is the second largest city in Pakistan, it is affected by the heavy smog every year in the month of October to November. So the reason of this smoke is urbanization, industrialization and heavy traffic. So all because of this uh, uh, polluted, polluted environment, I believe that if we use the airborne lighter and if we uh, use uh, in this uh, lighter technology, we can detect uh, due to its uh, shorter wavelength, we can detect different pollutants uh, in the environment. And by using, uh, by detecting those pollutants, we can detect the densities of those pollutants. And we can uh, devise uh, some uh, a solution in order to overcome this uh, smog, uh, which is a very big issue in Pakistan. So uh, I'm just in the uh, beginning, stay in, in the beginning of uh, this project that I will discuss with all uh, those departments of uh, both these universities. So another application uh, is in the, in the oceanography, as well as in the field of, uh, uh, in the, because in the field of oceanography, we can take the snapshots of the coast at any uh, different specific time intervals. We can measure the uh, coastal erosion as well as we can uh, uh, measure the cliff faces for the mapping purposes. So why I, uh, talk about this uh, application by using the LIDAR technology. The reason is because the coastal line of Pakistan is about 1,050 kilometer. 
and uh, the majority of the coastline lies in Balochistan and there are lots of cliffs and uh, most of the coastline area of Pakistan is still unexplored and exploited. So that's why uh, I, I believe this, uh, that this technology can be very useful in future in order to make the uh, cliff, uh, cliff mapping as well as uh, there are many islands. And I believe that LIDAR technology can be very helpful in measuring the co uh, coastal area, in measuring uh, the uh, in detecting different islands in all these coastlines. And uh, the last uh, application that I'm going to uh, talk about is the LIDAR application in the archaeology. So uh, why you are using the LIDAR in the field of archaeology? Because the most of those hidden gems are usually covered due to the uh, permanent, sometimes there is a rain forestation, sometimes in some areas uh, due to dust and storm, most of the, uh, most of uh, those signs are covered. So lighter in combination with the GIS, which is global information system, we can get the detailed and accurate layered images of the, and we can reveal different structures and features. Uh, this uh, uh, te technology, uh, lighter technology can also be applicable uh, on the archeological sites of Pakistan because most of those archeological sites, either they are covered like this uh, archeological site of Merida, which is in the province of Sindh, is covered by the dust and storm. And this one is tough by, it is also covered by the forestation and uh, vegetation. So I believe uh, this technology would be very helpful uh, in order to explore these sites, we can uh, reveal the hidden gems. And I, I believe uh, this technology uh, would be very useful in the field of atmosphere, in the field of uh, oceanography, and in the field of archaeology, particularly in view of Pakistan. So thank you very much. So I am um, in the initial stages of uh, this uh, uh, LiDAR technology and uh, its uh, applications. So that's all for now. Okay, Thank, thanks very much, uh, Hafsa. Uh, questions, anybody? Anybody? Yep, yeah. Hugo. Go ahead and unmute. Thank you very much. Excellent presentation. I think as a case study that may help you with the global information system side, have you looked mm -hmm. on how a, May a Mayan city was uncovered with LIDAR? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. I've gone, yes, 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 Mayan city. Uh, I studied about uh, those uh, Mesoamerican uh, sites. Uh, uh, I guess the National Geographic uh, made some documentary about uh, those sites. And uh, yes, I studied uh, and I also saw the documentary about that. Uh, those sites of Maya. Uh, uh, I, I, believe, I think that uh, recently, uh, most of the Americans, I guess they are using this LIDAR technology to uncover these uh, archeological sites. So that's why I'm taking this idea from those uh, South American civilization that why can't we use that technology in order to reveal our own sites? Because uh, we also have a, a large number of archeological sites. You're well prepared then. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very right, interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Matt? Okay, well, thanks very much, Afsa. Re really great. 